it's a film that was started off as being uh, very much based on my own childhood and my relationship to my brother, and that uh, that started as probably half of the film, and then I, I sort of invented some stories on top of that to make it a full-length film, but it's very much, uh, the, the core of it is based on my own upbringing, so it's a very personal story for me. When I was growing up, I had a lot of, uh, there was a few children in my town that did pass away, so I wasn't the same age as the boys, but I used that when I was writing. So it's not an exact story that happened to me, but it's the emotion of it is based on real events. So, um, yeah, the, 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 uh, the event in the film is, is invented, but it's, it's, uh, there's real things that happen that I use to kind of um, come up with that story. And Cold Water is about a kid who's sent to a juvenile wilderness detention facility. Um, and uh, so the movie, basically, you follow him in his first year there, and, you reveal, and it's revealed why he's actually sent there. And it's his whole journey in this place that's kind of run by this ex-retired colonel uh, who is, you know, a lot like our lead character, actually. There was no accountability with the people running the place, and I think that's the biggest problem. It's not, it's another thing, we're not trying to say everything, every place is bad either. I mean, I, uh, I produced a movie called Bellflower a couple years ago, and um, uh, did Cold Water, and the, for me, I tend to gravitate more to the darker, you know, intense movies. Um, I, I didn't go through anything specific that would have, you know, I'm not a troubled kid. I, I had a great upbringing. So uh, you said that you found similar facilities. Uh, did you find uh, camps and uh, facilities like this that were really bad that the, the film can depict as uh, based on reality? Or was it just very unpleasant and the film is more or less fiction? Um. Well, the movie is a fictional story. Obviously, wanted the movie to stand on its own as, as far as just a really intense thriller, I guess. Um, but the movie is actually a lot, I, feel, I mean, believe it or not, there's a lot of stuff in reality that I didn't even tackle in the movie. There's a lot of reasons why it's so bad, too, as far as uh, having qualified people running it and, and the, the amount of kids they have in and why the kids are actually in there. You know, you can have a kid in there for who's got really serious mental issues, and then you'll have a kid who's there for ditching school. And it, it, it just doesn't, I mean, these kids need to be in proper places. And I thank a lot of people in this that actually were destruction, destructive in it not getting made over the years. So it was like, thank you for not getting it made several years ago, because it wouldn't be the story it is today. It wouldn't be, I, didn't, I, I wouldn't be as proud of it, I don't think. Um, so there's people I'm thanking up there for almost ruining my life 10 years ago. <laughs> really simple, almost minimalistic, just three young people kill, just in the movie, kill, kill another one and, and bury uh, him in the forest. It was, it was really minimalistic, but in the same times, it, it did seem to me that the story um, had in, 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 into it all the contradiction I wanted uh, for so long to, to tell about uh, the, the island. Because it's a f the, 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 the primitive uh, frame of uh, Western and, and, and cinema, and also because I knew that in this specific movie there, um, there would be um, a certain um, level of uh, realism. And I, I, I really I really wanted, uh, in opposition, something really art artificial and really uh, fiction between uh, documentary. In the, I mean, we can we can uh, see very easily that um, the young actors are not professional. You can see that. But I, I, I wanted, in opposition, something really um, rigid and really mm -hmm. um, strict. In opposition with the freedom of uh, their way of talking and moving and. Uh,